Imagine, if you will, what may have transpired one bright day in the headquarters of Mazda in Japan. Let's take a good car, huh? Miata. Make better, add a metal. Watch a whole world go nuts. <laughs> well? Inside the city or just outside, it's the best of both worlds. Compact, light, and fun, it has been on the wish list of many even before its inception. The MX-5 was introduced back in 1989, and this Mazda Retractable Fastback, or RF for short, is the fourth generation of the world's best-selling Roadster. Now, it was announced late last year and made its Philippine debut at the 2017 Manila International Auto Show. Look at this thing. It's eye candy. It's jailbait even. Too much? Sorry. Anyway, uh, it's basically a regular MX-5, except that it's got strapped with 130 pounds more weight, thanks largely to this. But we'll get to that later. Trunk space is not hampered by the folding roof, which folds nice and neatly right under there. Over here, we've got the secret button to open the trunk. You got great space here, basically enough for our camera equipment or roughly the size of a medium-sized suitcase, which is great for you and the missus to get away for the weekend. Unless you're my wife who likes to bring a mini fridge wherever it is that she goes. I'm not kidding, I've got that documented. Anyway, enough with this chit-chat, chit-chat. Let's go for a drive. The engine and transmission of the RF are exactly like the Ragtop MX-5. It's a very spirited 2.0-liter mated to a very quick and agile 6-speed automatic transmission. Now, there are no manual RFs in the Philippines. As of yet or ever, we really don't know. But what we are sure is that there are plenty of people out there going, boo-hoo! The interior mirrors most Mazda cars out there, which is not necessarily a bad thing. For starters, it's got a 7-inch touchscreen display located in the center of the dashboard, which doesn't interfere with my line of sight, <laughs> and is controlled by the commander knob way down here, which I can use without taking my eyes off the road. Check this out, 10 kilometers per hour. <laughs> the metal roof adds to the sturdiness of the car, as well as security and protection. Noise interference is down compared to the rag top, obviously. Plus, because it's a solid top, the air conditioner has an easier time cooling the cabin, so you don't necessarily have that toaster oven feeling for very long. And in just 14 seconds, the RF goes from a beautiful ball gown to a bodacious bathing suit that would make even Pia Wurzbach stand up and applaud. Oh my goodness, this car is so much, oh, oh, so much grip. You push, you point, and it goes. This thing is so much fun. And as you slow down, it engine brakes for you. Oh, you hear that? Oh, oh, oh. oh I've got to get me one of these. This is too much fun. Let's hear an engine brake again. Oh, yeah. Pop it in sport mode and just have fun. Oh, my goodness, this is too much fun. So, let's crunch some numbers. This premium RF is 2,250,000 Philippine pesos. The standard RF is 2,180,000 Philippine pesos, a difference of 70,000 pesos for Napa leather. Now let's go the other way. The top-end MX-5 ragtop is available at 1,980,000 Philippine pesos, which essentially translates to 200,000 pesos 
for this, a retractable hard top. Now, is it worth it? Well, if you consider the Philippines' torrential rains, blistering sun, you've got added protection and security, and plus added rigidity to the entire body, then our take on it would be definitely a yes. However, 70,000 pesos for Napa? Ah, we'll leave that up to you guys. But if it's a difference between the MX-5 and the RF? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs>